morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Town Election and Planning Commission. This is our normal monthly meeting being held at Town Hall at 8 a.m. December 19, 2018. This meeting will be broadcast live. A recording of this meeting will be aired on the Town's Information Cable Channel 1301 several times during the week and is also available on the Town's website. I am Frank Berry, the Vice Chair of the Town Election and Planning Commission. Other Planning Commission present are Good morning, Sammy Hendricks. Good morning, Jarrett Harrelson. Good morning, Roscoe Kaufman. Good morning, Jeannie Michaels. <clears throat> Good morning, I'm Jamie Fife. Good morning, I'm Ron Williams with Town Council. <clears throat> Good morning, Charlie Thomas, Building Official. <clears throat> At this time, I'm going to ask Commissioner Michaels if she pray for us, please. Father, thank you for the year of 2018 and the many blessings you have bestowed upon us. Thank you for the town of Lexington and the people that serve our town. Please bless all the um, military that's coming home for the season and the families and wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. Thank you for your many blessings. Amen. Amen. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> At this time, are there any deletions or additions to the agenda? Hearing none, um, next is approval of the minutes. So moved. Do I have a motion for approval of the minutes? <coughs> so moved. Second. Motion and second. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. It is unanimous. Um, no public presentation. Presentations, no old business, new business. Under new business, item number one, I will be recusing myself from, uh, actually number one and number two. Um, and I'm gonna turn it over to council, Councilman, I mean not Councilman, Commissioner Hendricks for uh, overseeing that item, those two items. Okay, John, you wanna present that? Morning, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your fall break. <coughs> a, little, a little rusty after October and November off, but uh, we'll try and get back to it. And January looks like it might be pretty busy too. So, uh, the first item on your agenda is uh, Triplo LLC owns 38.75 acres on two parcels located on Cherokee Trail and has petitioned to annex a portion of the property. The portion to be annexed consists of a sewer easement that is being used as part of an 86 unit subdivision being constructed on Cherokee Trail. Properties in town near these properties are zoned high density residential and protected residential. Cherokee Trail is currently classified as a local road. <coughs> Due to the surrounding conditions and the use of the property, um, the uh, property owners have, rec uh, have requested uh, <coughs> that the 15 foot easement be zoned protected residential two. And as I mentioned already, Cherokee Trail is already classified as a local road. Are there any questions? Motion to accept the recommendation of annexation to PR. Is there a second? Second. PR oh, or PR2? Two. Two. Uh, PR, oh. The write up says PR. The property owners have recommended, have requested PR2. Okay. Make the motion to um, accept the recommendation for PR2. <clears throat> why, why PR2 versus PR? 
Uh, as I explained to the attorney for the property owners, that I didn't really think it would made a whole lot of difference because you can't do anything with a 15 foot easement, but they felt more comfortable with PR2 um, as a potential for the rest of the property at some point if it gets developed. So more flexible zoning and more consistent with what's in the what, what they're being allowed to do in the county. Okay. Has been a motion made. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Those opposed? Item number two, please, sir. Essex Land Development Incorporated. This is associated with the item one. Owns 30.8 acres on two parcels located on Cherokee Trail and has petitioned to annex 30.4 acres of the property. The portion to be annexed are shown as tracks 1 and 2A on the uh, survey that's in your package. Essex Homes is constructing an 86 unit subdivision on the property. The project will consist of a mixture of patio homes and larger single family lots. Properties in town near these parcels are zoned high density residential and protected residential and Cherokee Trail is classified as a local road. The uh, subdivision itself is uh, essentially uh, received approval from <coughs> Lexington County to move forward so in this case we're not looking at the subdivision although we have worked with Essex in anticipation of it being brought into town and it's um, as close to if not meeting all of the requirements that we would require in town so, uh, but due to the surrounding conditions and the intended use of the property the recommended zoning for the annexation is protected residential too the recommended classification Cherokee Trail is a local road. Your an explanation, are there any questions? I have one. That, where is the half acre that's not being brought in? Um, it, is, it is the small triangle right, on, across on the, the street. Of the street. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> you do show it as being in the blue line there, yeah. Do you do show it what? You do show it under in the blue line there. It is it well that, that the aerial photograph that's yeah. in your package is from the county map and that's the only way you can do it. That's why I included the um, yeah. the survey drawing with it. Okay. I hear a motion. Motion to approve. Second. 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 All those in favor, signify by raising your right hand. Those opposed, hearing none, passes. Mr. Chairman, item three. Thank you, sir. I was hoping you just keep going. Mm -hmm. Item number three, John, is <clears throat> annexation of portion of Lexington County tax map 4200-09-102. Karen and Kevin Gobi own one acre located at 255 Clearbrook Circle and have petitioned to annex the property. A single family home is being constructed on the site. Properties in town near this one are zoned protected residential two and <coughs> Clearbrook Circle is classified as a local road. Uh, again, uh, due to the surrounding conditions and the use of the property, um, the recommended zoning for this parcel is protected residential. This is a little little confusing. If you look on the survey that is in your package, the entire parcel is family land at the back of Dove Chase. Um, the, that parcel is 12 acres. They're deeding one acre to a family member that's building a house, so we're annexing that one acre because it's in need of our utilities. The portion that we're annexing is marked as the 1.02 on the survey in your package. Do we have any idea what the plan is for the remaining acreage? It is family land. I'm assuming it will be dedicated to various members of the family as, as necessary and needed. At some point they will have to do additional land development related. Uh, requirements 
but for one acre on a lot in the back of 12 acres they didn't have they don't have to do anything right now okay all right do I have a recommendation I'll make the recommendation to annex the property as written. We have a second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. All opposed? It's unanimous. <clears throat> Item number four, annexation of Lexington County tax map 3500 John. Joyce Harris owns 1.6 acres located at 4765 Sunset Boulevard and has petitioned to annex the property. John Harris Body Shop is located on the site. Properties in town near this one are zoned general commercial and Sunset Boulevard is classified as an arterial road. The same uh, zoning and road classification is recommended for this parcel. All right, do we have a recommendation? Approved. Recommendation. Motion. Do you have a second? Second. Any discussion? John, just for clarification, that property next to it is the property we had already annexed, correct? Yes. The split piece next to it? Yes. Yes, that's where the uh, hotel. hotel is going. Okay. All right. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. All opposed? It is unanimous. Item number four, annexation of Lexington County tax map number 50. Five. That would be number five. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. five. I'm trying to do it again. Annexation of Lexington County tax map 54220206. John. Patrick Kane owns one acre located at 209 Parker Street and has petitioned to annex the property. A single family home is located on the site. Properties in town near this one are zoned protected residential and Parker Street is classified as a local road. Uh, due to surrounding conditions and the use of the property, the same zoning and road classification is recommended for this parcel. All right, do I have a recommendation? I recommend to annex the property as written. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? John, there seems to be like a, I guess it's the piece next to it will con conclude Parker Street on that it side will. from what I saw. Yes, sir. Any luck with getting them to annex? We'll see what we can do. <laughs> All right. I know we've referred to as donut holes, and that's going to leave one right there. So. All right. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Opposed? Unanimous. Item number six, annexation of Lexington County tax map 54960411. John. We are completing Vera Road with this one if that makes you feel better. Um, Lone Wolf Properties LLC owns 1.33 acres located at 133 Vera Road <coughs> and has petitioned to annex the property. A crane repair facility is being located on the site. Properties in town near this one are zoned industrial and Vera Road is classified as a local road. Uh, due to surrounding conditions and the use of the property, the same zoning and road classification is recommended for this portion. All right, do I have a recommendation? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none. Um, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. Opposed? Motion passes unanimous. Anything else? Yes, sir. Well, as you know, I'm sitting in for Keith. Keith is traveling. I'll be with him. Hopefully, he returns safely next month. We missed him. Um, anybody else have anything good for the commission? Mr. Williams, thank you for being here. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Yes, sir. Just have a few announcements. First of all, uh, town will be closed. Town hall will be closed on December 24th and 25th, um, and will be closed on January the 1st. We will pick up trash on December 24th. 
December 25th, we will not, and everybody's cycle or every day, everybody's pickup day will move off one day. So Friday's delivery will be picked up on Saturday. Tuesday's delivery will be picked up on Wednesday. So everybody just shifts one day. Um, same thing for uh, New Year's Day. We will pick up on the 31st that Monday. On that Tuesday, we will not pick up and it will be pushed to Wednesday. So everybody will just remember to put their trash out a day later. Um, I think that was, I think that was it. Thank y'all for your service. And I, you know, I, I know what it takes to be on a commission or a council because you don't just get a packet show up in the morning. You have to be prepared ahead of time and you have to have some extra training. So you spend a lot of time doing this uh, as a volunteer for our town. We certainly appreciate y'all's efforts. And y'all, okay, everybody has a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anybody else have anything? All right. I know school gets out Friday, I believe it is. Half day on Friday. And uh, so the kids would be and everybody would be scurrying around town getting ready for Christmas. So have patience uh, as we continue to go uh, with the deal with our traffic. Hearing none, we'll go on and close. Thank you for watching the Town of Election and Planning Commission in action. This meeting was held at Town Hall at 8 a.m. Wednesday, December 19, 2018. A recording of this meeting will be aired several times during the week on the Town's Cable Information Channel 1301, and it can be viewed online at the Town website. I'm Frank Berry, your Vice Chair. On behalf of the Town of Election and Planning Commission and staff, I wish you a good day.